NVIDIA, AMD, Google, and Microsoft have been quietly working on a project called Calyptra, a security initiative to harden computer chips against hackers by providing a Rust-based implementation of the critical root of trust component. So here's a breakdown of what a root of trust is. Please keep in mind, I'm not a hardware expert. So a root of trust or ROT for short is an isolated hardware security component along with the firmware that runs it. And it's responsible for verifying that low level boot code is authentic and hasn't been tampered with. Similar to how you would verify the checksums of downloaded files to make sure they haven't been tampered with. Without an ROT, your computer system is basically like a house without a lock on the front door. Hackers could easily modify the boot process, which would allow them to bypass security checks, install malware and viruses that are almost impossible to detect, and maintain control of the system even if you wipe the hard drive and reset the computer back to factory settings. So why are computer chip companies like Nvidia and AMD collaborating on a new Rust-based root of trust? Well, there are three major issues with current root of trust implementations. First, there's the fragmentation issue. Different hardware platforms have different ROT implementations, which leads to inconsistent security features and makes it very difficult to have uniform security across devices. Second, there's the issue of transparency. Traditionally, ROT implementations have been black boxes. You can see the inputs and outputs, but you can't see what's inside of them. This makes it difficult to audit and verify their security. Third, data centers require a root of trust solution that isn't only secure, but is also highly scalable and manageable in a distributed environment. And this is especially important as AI drives the need for more infrastructure. And those three challenges is what Calyptra aims to solve. So how does Rust fit into all of this? Well, Calyptra provides two things. First is the intellectual property for designing the ROT hardware, which goes into CPUs, GPUs, DPUs, and so on. And second, Calyptra provides the open source firmware to manage the hardware. If we take a look at the firmware repo, we can see that the code has been written in Rust, which isn't surprising at all. Microsoft has already used Rust in another proprietary ROT implementation called Pluton. The CTO of Azure has also been very vocal about using Rust instead of C or C++ for cloud infrastructure. And Google has been using Rust for low-level Android software, which has resulted in a major decrease in memory safety vulnerabilities. By using Rust, Project Calyptra aims to create a more robust, secure, and maintainable root of trust implementation. And I think that choice aligns well with the project's goal of enhancing security in modern computing environments. So when will we see Calyptra being used in real-world chips? It's been reported that Google and Microsoft are aiming to implement Calyptra into their own silicon as soon as 2024. I haven't seen an article confirming the status of this, so hopefully we get one before the year ends. And AMD isn't far behind targeting 2026 for product integration. This means we could see Calyptra-based security features in AMD's servers and possibly consumer chips within the next few years. Now, while Calyptra is making waves in computer chip security, Rust is also gaining traction in other areas of embedded systems, specifically the automotive industry. Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Toyota, Ford, Bosch, and Volkswagen are all using Rust. In a recent blog post about Volvo using Rust, a principal engineer at Volvo said they used Rust to implement the firmware for their ECU chips. These chips are critical components managing various aspects of a car's electrical system. And this wasn't just some proof of concept. These Rust-powered ECUs are already on the road in Volvo's EX90 and Polestar 3 models. Given these examples and the fact that embedded software is one of the core domains that Rust aims to be used in, I think we'll continue to see significant growth in Rust usage for embedded systems, especially new greenfield projects, which I'm excited about. But let me know what you think about Project Calyptra and Rust's general usage in embedded software. Is this something you're excited about and where do you think Rust will pop up next? Let me know in the comments. If you're interested in becoming a Rust developer or are just curious about the opportunities, make sure to get your free Rust training at letsgetrusty.com bootcamp. Hope you've enjoyed this video and remember to stay rusty.